Ibrahim Muhammad al faqih was born in the Victoria district of Alexandria, Egypt. Ibrahim al faqih became famous for his deep knowledge in human development and self-development and many other fields. Ibrahim al faqih was the chairman of the board of directors of the Kennedy Center for Human Development and an expert in neuro-linguistic programming as well as an international lecturer and a prominent and famous writer in the fields of human development. al faqih contributed to highlighting the signs of human development in the Arab world. If someone loves you, you are a lucky person. We must know that Ibrahim al faqih is a great man. He has written dozens of books. We must also know that Ibrahim al faqih did not reach this level of people's love for him and his knowledge except with effort and perseverance. And we must know that he faced more than we are facing now. But he continued to achieve his dreams and goals until he fulfilled them. Let's ask Ibrahim al-Faqih, who is Ibrahim al-Faqih? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Ibrahim al-Faqih is an ordinary person from Egypt, from Alexandria. He lived in hardships and frustrations while he continued to plan and work to achieve his goals and dreams. And he's now a human development coach, self-development, businessman, author, and motivational speaker. How can one person accomplish what you have accomplished? Everyone needs a specific strategy in order to succeed. We have a strategy for sleep, eating, emotional well-being, and success. For me, one of the most important foundation is trusting in God. After that came a moral campus, which I set high ideals. From here, I ask what are my goals or what is my message in life? Am I like any creature that aids, sleeps, and dies without benefiting from itself or benefiting others? As a young boy, who had the privilege of visiting various hotels through my father's travels, I had two visions. One was to be the Egyptian champion of ping pong. The second was to be the manager of the largest hotels in the world. Of course, this did not set well with my family. My father wanted to see me in a pilot's uniform and my mother wanted me in a navy suit. They did not know that I was already mastering the skills of racket across a ping pong table. So how did you jump from ping pong to the hotel industry? Again, I saw a lot of hotels in my young life and this gave me a push toward that industry. So I studied at the Hotels Institute with the goal of, of achieving a high manag managerial positions in Egypt, but that uh, was not easy at that time. So I moved to Canada to seek more opportunities. As a young man in a new land, I struggled a lot. Let me tell you one story that helped motivate me to reach my goals. I was walking down the street in a frustration after the many failures and shed doors and reminding myself of the lofty goal that I had set myself to be the premier hotel manager. At that moment, I met a local restaurant manager who uh, offered me work and um, asked me to return the following Monday. Upon returning, I was shocked to find out that he denied making that offer. Six years later, I invited him to lunch 
at one of the hotel I was managing. He did not recognize me and I was pleased to remind him that six years prior he had rejected as a dishwasher at his restaurant. <laughs> Wow, I can't imagine that look on the man's face. But I also can guess that this is this was not enough for you. Yes. Receiving the award of the best general manager of the of hotels in 1990 was the transaction to my new position. In 92, I decided to develop my interest in human development. I worked as a life coach in helping people with self-development strategies. My vision was to inspire others to develop relationships and motivate them to reach their goals. I wanted to reach thousands of people, so I developed a resource foundation of books, lectures, and workshops. Thank you so much for sharing these precious milestones in your life. I look forward to hearing about the next adventure in your life. Thank you for the opportunity and I wish you the best. Since his death in a tragic apartment fire at the age of 62, Dr. Ibrahim al faqib is still the greatest doctor in self-development, human development and authorship. He wrote dozens of books and sold them to millions of people. People today still seek his books. From self-regulation to achieving dreams and goals, I am one of those people who have read and benefited from his vast knowledge. He inspires me to continue to seek more and to reach for the stars. Of the dozens of books he wrote, The Road to Success is his gem. In his words, he said, I have always been writing down my goals and reading every single day before I sleep and when I wake up. Every day I take a small step towards achieving my goals. Whatever your dreams are, start now. Trust yourself, plan, put plans into action. Work, study, learn, achieve, keep going and don't give up and trust in God and it will come true.